2018, my grandmother, she was giving away stuff, and each grandkid got to pick something out. Oh, and this piece intrigued you. No, my brothers and sisters thought it'd be funny to get me something, like, not cool, like this painting. Ah, uh, do you know anything about the painting? No, uh, I didn't see a signature down here, so... Yes, yes, so, the artist is Charles Vandelay. No signature is completely in line with that. He doesn't sign his paintings. Uh, he was born in 1955 in Manhattan, went to the New York Art Institute, then, then studied abroad, came back and started a gallery in Charleston, which he actually ran until a few years ago uh, with his passing. Oh, okay. Yeah, my grandmother, she lives in Charleston. Oh, interesting. So he was known for this like crazy lifestyle, uh, wild drug fuel parties and orgies, and you could see the house from from the up on the hill uh, with, with comings and goings all hours of the day and night. Uh, it was very very taboo for the time, uh, as they got quite naughty. So at one point he met a woman who fell madly in love and wanted to give all his love to her, give up the lifestyle, gave her multiple proposals, all of which she rejected. She just liked the drugs and the, the men and the sex too much, uh, and the women, quite frankly. So, what we have here, so in the midst of this despair, he painted to this to show what he was feeling with all these demons of spirits circling his true love and, and taking her virtue uh, uh, repeatedly. Uh, it's oil on canvas, and uh, as we spoke about, the no signature. It's classic Vandalay stroke technique. You can see it from a mile away. Uh, you can almost feel the heartbreak coming from the canvas and the conflict as he watches his love just be with everybody and, and anybody. Uh, it's one of his most famous paintings still to this day because it it resonates with so much many people and so much pain. And it's called The Curse of Gabriella. It's one of his finer paintings. Wait, what? Uh, what you have here is a mid-career. Wait, hold on. Beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My grandma Gabby gave me this painting. Grandma Gabby. Dear. Yeah. Did your grandmother know, Charles? I, I hope not. <laughs> Quite right. Quite right. Um, well, I would place a value on this at auction, conservatively, uh, fifteen to twenty thousand um, dollars. Are you talking shit about my grandma? Yeah, man. So I was uh. Going to a garage sale, looking for a table. There's some guys there, man, and they were like, shit, man, you can take this table, take all this other stuff. And I was like, shoot, I'll give it to you for 20, man. They're like, man, take it for 10. And I'm like, all right, man. And they had all this stuff in there, so. So are you familiar with Zab's Labs or Beaker TV? Nah, man. G Becoming Future? Nah, I must have missed that one. So Becoming Future is a masterpiece of videography and storytelling mixed together. It's from the Zabs Lab studio out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. They've also done Father in Some Corner. They've also done Five Zabs. Too many good titles to, to even talk about. Becoming Future is this story about how a chance encounter with a stranger sends a man on this fantastic journey to become a disciple of the baddest rapper on the planet, Future. Yeah, man, I must have missed that one. Yeah. Oh, their videos get hundreds of views uh, consistently. When I first saw your certificate, I was like, oh, that's a nice print. And then as I got closer, I said, oh, that's interesting. And then when I finally got it up here, I was like, like, watch your step, because I just lost my shit. So we'll start up here. What you have here is the certificate 
of completion after he finishes all his tasks that he's assigned. Very important, you'll see most certificates are a signature. Well, but this one's thumbprints. Well, why is that? Well, this is significant because Future talks about uh, the thumb in the butt. So it's, it's actually quite humorous. We also have the notes where you see them putting together the whole thought process. And, and like you see over here, tech and beans, but yet in the real videography that didn't make it there. So you see ideas here that didn't even make it into the video. It's just crazy. And then you see scratches out like around a um, make her pee. Oh, maybe there was some discussion there. Uh, which is code for squirting. Then we have the kilo of cocaine, which is from the second drug deal in the story, a very pivotal moment of the of the video. Uh, yeah, man. I'll check and see if it was real, bro. It's just powdered sugar though, man. <laughs> I retaped it, I, don't hope, I hope it doesn't mess anything up. Yes, we like to keep them in their original state. Um, we also have, then you have this certificate, which we're all used to seeing the one that, that's completely filled out. And here's one without the thumbprints, which it's just so crazy to see that. And the Theo's right there. You see Adderall notches, make her pee, thumb in her butt. We are holding history in our hands right here. Yeah, man, you can, I like your vibe, bro. You can keep it, man. I would definitely keep them as a group. Um, I, well, I would probably sleep with them, to be honest, you know? Um, but, but anyway, as a group, it's such value to a true collector to see the thought process. Now, nothing like this has ever come up for auction before. I checked with my counterparts out back. We believe conservatively at a well-advertised auction, this would be worth seventy-five to a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, man, it's quite fantastic. It's not really what I was expecting, man. But shoot, you guys can keep it, man. Pretend. Uh -huh. Tupadu.